Happy Independence Day Eve. Apparently, I'm the only American in the room. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And it is July 4th Eve. So that would make it the 3rd of July. Oh, very good. And uh, uh, we had a easy day at work. And we're going to do a quick little show here. Not a whole lot going on because of D23 and San Diego Comic Con are coming up. So a lot of the news and the information and stuff is kind of slowing down as we get closer to those two big right. epic weekends of I hope we're home. Because there will be lots and lots of videos going and, and <laughs> updates and trailer reactions and stuff going on. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not home for D23 but we will be home for San Diego Comic-Con. I may be sick <laughs> on a Friday. All right. Just so I can do trailer reactions. You're not looking well. I, it's, you know. Slow. I'm, well, hey! <laughs> Your illness is oh, slow. Oh, it's slow. It's slow achieving, yes. Right. Uh, some stuff that we want to know for. I am not slow. I just speak differently. Differently. Uh, some stuff that we wanted to go over uh, to start off with was Sony, uh, sorry, Fox came out, 20th Century Fox came out, and apparently staked their claim to everything in <laughs> 2019 and 2020. This date is mine, and this date is mine, and this date is mine. <laughs> so they've already claimed three dates uh, in 2018 with Deadpool 2, uh, X-Men Dark phoenix and new mutants they're still casting for new mutants that's supposed to be out in fucking february i need to hurry up i i don't know how they're gonna do that um but they picked six states uh, uh june 19 november of 19 march of 20 june of 2020 october of 2020 and march of 2021 and they're saying we're gonna do x-men because the Fox owns the X-Men universe. So they've claimed all of those spots for the future of the X-Men universe as they know it. That's a lot. It is. Um, I've heard uh, potentially um, uh, Deadpool 3 would be in mm -hmm. there. X-Men and then um, X-Force. Um, Fantastic Four I heard. Yes. Potentially because they're going to make it again with the cast from this most recent one. Right, and then they're going to do the kids. Uh, oh, yeah, the kids they have version. the kid right. one, too. So. Yeah. And so, I, it's... Uh, 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 I There's been talk on the internet, a lot of talk on the internet, about superhero movie fatigue. And I, 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 I don't think there is fatigue. Look at the goddamn box office. Well, Wonder Woman just passed $700 million worldwide. I mean, come on. There's not, there's not fatigue. No, for new, fresh ideas, there is not fatigue. And I don't know that it's specifically um, superhero. I think it's uh, it could potentially be any of the big movie studios, right? So Star Wars, yeah. Star Trek, yeah. um, Marvel, DC, just the putting out movies for the sake of putting out movies. When you don't have anything new and interesting to say, then yeah, people aren't going to aren't going to aren't going to go but they as much. they've been doing a really good job and all let's be honest DC's got one good movie done right. and Fox has done the some of the X-Men really really well and some of them not so well um, but the same could be said for Marvel and, there's some a couple of Thors in there that nobody cares Thors, about but the new one look Ragnarok looks amazing <laughs> oh my god um Kate Blanchett in a bodysuit this that's all I'm saying that's all you can and about. reindeer ears uh, reindeer <laughs> antlers um <laughs> But uh, but the the it, one of the things that was kind of talked about uh, on Friday and Collider was somebody emailed in and was saying about you know are we getting comedy movie fatigue kind of like we're getting comic book movie fatigue and and my thought was the whole time was if you put good stuff out you're not gonna get fatigued and going to see in these genres of or these types of movies yeah there's just a lot of comedy movies out there that just aren't good and the not uh, house the house this week in the house game or whatever with yeah. will ferrell and amy poehler apparently is 
terrible. They didn't even do a, a screening for the critics. Yeah. And just put it out. That's a really bad sign. Um, but yeah, so it's it just showing that there's a market for it. And if they have six dates past the three movies they're doing next year, that means they have a plan. Fox has a plan. I would hope so. And that would be awesome if they did a big X-Men universe. Now, if we can get Fox to work with uh, Marvel and we could do a big crossover thing like Sony's doing with Marvel and the Spider-Man universe, I, I don't think that'll ever happen. Uh, <laughs> more on superhero movies because... Because America! Because America! Um, Matt Reeves is teasing a noir-driven detective story for the Batman movie. Now, we've had kind of every version of Batman in the last... We had the super campy camp uh, comic book version um, with uh, the... Um, why, uh, the Michael Keaton ones that were directed by... Mm, Tim... Tim Burton. Burton. Thank you. Um, which were awesome. The first two were awesome. And then uh, Val Kilmer's was... Uh, and then George Clooney almost killed him. Um, that was not George Clooney's fault. I will... I will you yeah, never put I, nips on Batman. Well, and I heard editing. Was... Editing. There were some editing problems in there, too. Um, and then you had the Christopher Nolan uh, super dark version of Batman. And so a noir kind of version kind of makes sense in this kind of... Yeah, it's it's kind of Dick Tracy-esque. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that earlier. I was like, that would be kind of cool. Uh, a smaller, not a big... Like, the Nolan movies, movies got a little big. Uh, yeah, and you know, cast some people that aren't big name stars, right? Don't don't let the movie get lost in the big name stars. Affleck is coming back for the the Batman. He's contractually obligated, well, but some, and that's fine. Yeah. But they could do something with some lesser known actors and just let the movie, the writing, the directing, the editing yeah. stand out instead of you know we have George George Clooney or. Whoever and Chris O'Donnell and like everybody was in it, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Carrey, and like they yeah. had all these big names in it for those. And you could say the same thing for the Christopher Nolan ones with yeah with Christian Bale and and. Uh, but Tom Hardy wasn't really that big of a. <clears throat> he was a known guy, but he wasn't a big guy. He actually Batman kind of helped him become a big guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and I mean physically too. Um, <laughs> True. Uh, the thing with Matt Reeves though is he's actually one of the directors we really like. Uh, he's done he did Cloverfield, which is um, a J.J. Abrams um, version of King Kong in New York, but he directed that one. He also did Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War of the Planet of the Apes, and with all the things that have been said already about uh, War of the Planet of the Apes, that it might be the best movie in the entire year, and it's still not out for another three weeks. So that should uh, we're really excited about seeing Matt Reeves and his direction. And, uh, but he's got to get through war um, and then get through everything and, and done. But they're saying that it's still set for a... You want to close the window. I'm not going to be opposed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm light speckled. I'd say, it, I'd just close the window. We live in the desert, people, so the sun decides to move. <laughs> okay. yeah, it doesn't move anywhere else. So much better. Um, but they're still talking that the release in 2019 is on schedule for the Batman. So, to add with all the stuff that so that Fox has going in 2019, and there's no word on the Marvel universe after Infinity War. So Phase Four, the new yeah. whatever. I mean, there's a Phase Four, but they haven't outlined what that is. And I, I guess, they, S, um, San Diego Comic Con is where they're it, expecting it. At D23 or Comic Con, I'm yeah. expecting one of the two to kind of be the point where they do that and. I would not be surprised if they go in and try to steal Comic Con out from underneath everybody else, bring all everybody from Infinity War on the stage at the same time, and wow, then, and then show on the screen what's going to happen after Infinity War, and just it, it could be it. Marvel could drop the mic on Saturday night. We'll talk <laughs> some more about Comic Con in a minute, but but yeah, that was that was just something like I think it could be interesting to see. But I'm really starting to get excited. We've talked about how bad. The DC Warner Brothers thing has been, and we're really how we really took shots at the how they handled everything. They did a really good thing. Same thing that Kathleen Kennedy did with Han Solo. Let's pause. 
Let's get our ducks in a row. Let's get right on track. Damn the money. Let's make sure we're putting out good stuff and then going forward. Well, and I think, uh, not to get on a, a tangent about DC, but I think that they, you know, um, uh, super, um, BVS, Batman vs. Superman, right. um, was a horrible movie in the theaters. It was not as bad when they came out with the director's cut, mm-hmm. and they had. They had I actually s- really liked the director's cut. It was it was okay. I mean, it, uh, it wasn't my favorite movie in the world, but it was okay. Uh, apparently, more bearable than the theatrical version, and there was a ton of issues fil- filming that, where yeah. um, the studio kept coming in and doing things, and so that was right there. That was proof that the studio messed around, or you know editors whatever they messed around and screwed that movie up yeah. as far as the theatrical same version. as suicide suicide squad and suicide squad yeah i mean apparently that's now a um uh, uh a lesson like yeah how to screw up editing see you know and then they talk about how they the editing screwed up suicide squad so well it was badly. a trailer company that they were the, the trailer there was a company that does just does trailers they were the fourth hired group to edit that movie so it's a, it's surprising there was any movie left. Oh yeah, exactly. It wasn't all so, on that cutting yeah. room floor. And then they finally, with Wonder Woman, you know, from everything we've heard. Now we're not, you know, in the we're not flies in the wall in the room. Right. From everything we heard, they pretty much left them alone to make their movie, and it worked. So hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, in in let Patty Jenkins let her let her do her job. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it, you know, in the Star Wars thing with Han Solo. I, I can understand. I, it seems to me like the reason why they waited so long was that they were trying to let them make their movie. Right. But it, in the end, it just didn't come out. Right. At all what they wanted it to be. So. I don't want to talk about Han Solo because I'm getting emotional about it. <laughs> I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Actually, why I don't want to talk about it is because of all the talk on the internet is making my head spin. The people are, yeah. the sky is falling, that yeah. kind of thing. People are getting spun up about yeah. it. So, so let's just, let's take a cue from from the movie studios and take a step back. Yep. Take a breather. I, I like that idea. So, <laughs> uh, well, uh, we talked about the Schmodown with Late to the Party, uh, and was it last week I think we did that? I think yeah, we did the last, it was last week. week. And so we have decided, we, I barely, hi! Uh, apparently, I'm still going through purity at 42. Uh, we have decided that we're going to add a new segment to our show, yet unsponsored. <laughs> and it's but co- you can sponsor but it But you here. can sponsor it here. Uh, it is the Schmodown match of the week. We had two matches last week. Uh, we had the uh, the Tough Beats and Six Degrees match. The loser broke breaks up. But the big match last week was Mark Ellis versus Clark Wolf, uh, the AKA fourth baby carrots, ABK, baby carrots, <laughs> the fourth and fifth seeds in the whole thing. Um, you have the collider collision coming on the seventh with the, the 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 belt holder and the top two contenders, and then uh, Harloff and Schneider are actually going against the number one contender. So whoever wins the three way will f- go against the uh, the Harloff and Schneider match, and then Wolf and and Ellis were the the next two down, and they are kind of putting themselves in the position. So whoever won that match was going to be really interesting, and so although Tough Beats lost and they had to break up, and that match was fun, the Clark Wolf yeah baby carrots baby carrots match, match was, was so good yep. and super hard yeah. We've watched some matches, and we we're good. Okay, I'm 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 going to say this a lot, uh, because I have huge respect for everybody in the Schmodown. We're good at movie trivia. We're pretty decent, I would say, top twenty percentile, whatever. Especially Those, the two of us together, because I know together, the older stuff, right, and he knows the right. stuff. Those in the Schmodown are great at movie trivia. Like they're talking about movies I've never even heard of, kind yeah. of thing. And that match, and the Ellis uh, Wolf match, uh, I think I think Wolf actually ended up winning. Sh- spoilers if you haven't watched it, but she did. But she only had like fifteen points or sixteen points. So it was a super low. They both struggled the entire way. Uh, even the commentators were talking about how hard the questions were at the end of the match, and it was a definitely a deep cut kind of match. Very fun to watch. 
they both are very respectful of each other uh, and um, I cannot get that freaking suit out of my head. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, it wasn't the baby carrot suit. It was he, not the baby carrot. He, in a in a previous in a, thing, he wore yeah. a carrot outfit yeah. um, and kept having to flip his stalks out of his <laughs> eyes. And and this time he just came out in a baby carrot colored I'm jacket. pretty sure that, that outfit is Makuga's. Well, Makuga said it was his, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it <laughs> told was. him he had to dry clean it before he got it back. Uh, it was it was a very, very good match. We're going to continue to do this, uh, uh, especially with the Collider Collision coming up next week. Uh, so not... Um, Actually, it's on the seventh, so we'll be we we will be will talking about yeah. it on next week. So Saturday, uh, so that will be a big time. There's like four or five matches in there, so we will be uh, probably Sunday afternoon spending some time going through all that. We're not gonna be home this weekend. We're doing an adult slumber party, so we're gonna have to come home and watch it, which is not a problem. Um, we did. Uh, we went and saw Baby Driver on Friday. We did a full review. It's on the page. I'll tag it at the end of this video. Uh, overall, pretty a thumbs up. We talked about it uh, in the in the review. Support movies like this. If you're worried about comic book hero fatigue or or com or uh, comedy fatigue or whatever, or just fatigue of bad movies, go support a good movie like this. And I not not to tell you not to watch ours because definitely watch our review. Um, but there's a couple out there um, in YouTube land, um, not necessarily reviews. There's one, I'm trying to remember the name of the, it was some, building something? Anyway, they, it was an actual interview um, with Edgar Wright and Eldon Eggertson. Alson, uh, Alson. Uh, El Alden Baby. Eggerton, baby. Um, uh, like, and it was kind of a studio, like the old MTV, like glass oh, yeah. front, you know, people walking by on the sidewalk and everything. And um, it was it was awesome. I actually texted him and said, we have to watch this movie again because <laughs> there was so much stuff that the two of them were talking about. No spoilers. Just, you know, yeah, there's this stuff going on. Um, the laundromat scene. Mm -hmm. um, all the, the all the laundry is color coordinated. I see, I caught and that. And it's synchronized. But... And he was talking, Edgar Wright was talking about how they couldn't actually turn them on. They had to, the staff had to go feed quarters into the machine every take uh, it was funny it was, it was a good okay we might have to go watch that interview but baby driver is definitely worth going to see i actually even told a guy from work he's like what movie should i go see right now and i said baby driver yep if you haven't seen wonder woman yet go see baby driver if you've seen wonder woman go see wonder woman again and then go see baby driver wait <laughs> always go see wonder woman and then and then go, go see, see baby baby driver. <laughs> yes exactly um, and then we also did uh, the season finale a review of Doctor Who. That's why we still have some of the Doctor Who stuff still up. Um, I'm still emotionally devastated. Still, I don't want to get into it at all, other than please go watch it. It's uh, We, we kind of went deep with it, uh, deeper than we should have, but that's okay. Uh, but it was totally worth it. Um, some We talked about San Diego Comic Con is coming up. Uh, it's starting to trickle out kind of what the schedule is going to be like. Um, I will announce it right now that I'm super sad that I'm not going, that we're not going, that I'm not going, that you're not going, that we're not sitting in a car somewhere driving to San Diego. Um, we have friends who are going. We have friends that are going. It's going to happen. I think in the next couple of years we're going to go. Uh, we need to make them be our correspondents. Yeah. Joe and Sly, guess what? Be our correspondence. Yeah, correspondence. Um, but some of the stuff is starting to come out, at least with uh, scheduling and different things and stuff. Um, everybody knows San Diego Comic Con, Mecca's is Hall H, Mecca 2.0 is Ballroom 20, and uh, and so right now as it sits, uh, some of the TV panels are starting to kind of trickle out um, on in Hall H. Um, on Friday, you have uh, the Big Bang Theory is getting a Hall H panel, which is kind of a big deal. They're doing Fear of the Walking Dead and then Walking Dead and back-to-back -back panels. You don't even have to leave the room. Uh, and then they're doing Defenders and Game of Thrones. So I personally, I don't know about you, but I would be camped out in Hall H that entire day. Just all, mm. uh, I'm watching all of those. For all that, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because a lot of the movie stuff is kind of going to take other slots yeah and, and stuff and i think that would be a good day and those are all shows that we are either excited for or are watching we'll talk about game of thrones in a second 
Um, Saturday, uh, it looks like uh, Westworld and Stranger Things are the big two TV shows. And then Sunday, Supernatural is doing their big panel. They usually kind of take over Sunday um, with a Hall H panel. And then they were doing the Nerd HQ stuff for the last couple years on Sunday. No Nerd HQ this year, but I, I, I'm thinking something will probably happen. Ballroom 20 is the other big room. Um, Thursday they're doing stuff. The Strain Legion, which we both love Legion, and Inhumans awesome. um, are all getting a big panel. Friday, Psych, which isn't even on anymore. I was going to say, is Psych still on? <laughs> However, they're getting a movie. Oh, okay. And it's Zachary the Levi. Guys. Yeah, the oh, two okay. guys from the show. And Zachary Levi's the bad guy. And, like, bleach blonde hair that's been all over the internet and stuff. Right, right. I remember that now. Um, iZombie is getting a, a panel in Ballroom 20. And The Gifted, which is the new Fox X-Men universe, right, 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 kind of right. looks like Heroes. Hopefully it's better written than the last couple of seasons. And then that Heroes Reborn, I tried really hard to get into it, but it, did, it had lost its luster yeah. and stuff, um, which was really sad. Because that was also Zachary Levi. He's been... Come on, Zach. <laughs> Saturday, Riverdale is getting a big panel, and that's a big deal because that was kind of it's it's um, the uh, um, Archie based comic. Oh right, TV show. Yeah. that's on CW or whatever. Huh. Um, apparently, it's awesome. Um, we we have to draw a line somewhere with TV shows, right? <laughs> uh, and so. Uh, uh, and then Barb from Stranger Things is on that show. Right. So I'm right. really happy for her, and I'm really happy for them. They're getting a big panel on Saturday. Oh, they can all do, like, a, a reunion. Uh, yes. Because everybody will be there. Yes, everybody Aww. will be there. I, that picture will happen. <laughs> if I know anything about all of them, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> um, the Simpsons is getting a big panel on Saturday. Uh, Family Guy and American Dad are doing a big Seth MacFarlane panel together. And, um, and then Star Trek Discovery... Um, is also in Ballroom 20. And then everything in the Arrowverse is in Ballroom 20 on Saturday. Not together. They've done that in the past. Right. So, this um, will be so Legends has their Legends. own. Flash has their own. And then Black Lightning is also going to be it. And that's not oh, in yeah. the Arrowverse, but that'll have its own panel. So that's some big stuff. Those are all really big shows that are kind of stuff that we are really into yeah um and that's not even including the movies and there's a huge 20th anniversary panel in hall h saturday night for buffy that'd be fun so and i don't josh whedon josh whedon said he's not gonna be able to make it but i won't be surprised if his big freaking floating head shows up like <laughs> william shatner from third World. they'll skype him in they'll skype him in they've done that before um we uh, have finished our run with Doctor Who, so we will be starting a Game of Thrones review show uh, coming up once Game of Thrones starts. Uh, we're trying to get caught up in the last two seasons. She's watched it. I'm still getting caught up. Um, I haven't watched the series, although I know what's going on. So I'm trying to watch the last two seasons to get ready for this season. Uh, so I'm kind of getting sucked into the freaking Westeros. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. It's I, the one thing I'm really enjoying with Game of Thrones, at least right now, and I haven't talked about this with you, but I wanted to say it while we're here, is the reason that show is good is 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 they everybody is committed to that show. Yeah, you, the actors are committed to everything that they have to do in that show, and there's a lot of nudity and violence and all that stuff. But you have to be committed. You can't just kind of half-ass that. Yeah, you have to be committed to do it right. Yeah. And everybody is, and the writers are, and the set designers are, and the costume designers. Everybody's committed to, to doing this show, and that's why it's good. Yeah. So, uh, Definitely. so what do you guys think? Kind of a quick rundown of some of the stuff that's going on right now. Um, we're going to see Spider-Man on Friday. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yes. On Friday. On Friday. We're super excited. So we'll do that Saturday morning before yep. we leave. And then, uh, and then we'll have our show next week, and then we'll start doing the Game of Thrones stuff in the following week. Yep. Probably uh, Monday, because 
Game of Thrones, unless we can get that East Coast feed. We might be able to get the East Coast <clears> feed. <throat> it's not like we have to skip through commercials, because it's HBO. <laughs> um, and we booked our rooms for Vegas for Labor Day weekend. I'm super excited. Um, <laughs> so what do you guys think? What uh, What do you think that's going on with San Diego Comic-Con that you're looking forward to, at least from the TV side? And it looks like they're getting their act together with Batman, so we'll see what happens. Uh, please like and comment on this video. Let us know what you're thinking. And please go find us on Facebook. We're at the Pop Culture Cult. We're Pop Culture Cult 1 on Instagram. And we're at Pop underscore Cult 1 on the Twitters. Please like, subscribe to all of our pages. Share with all of your friends. And until next time, happy 4th July. Good night.